hi yeah it's pretty dame again in the kitchen and what i have here is a paste made from what we call in yoruba elegede elegede is a variety of squash that is related to kabusha squash which is of japanese origin and this recipe is one that can be enjoyed with yam with omelette or alone as porridge so watch carefully while you learn the best kabusha squash recipe you will need pumpkin fruit or squash, you will need salt, you will need seasoning, you will need oil to fry and water to cook, you will need pepper and onion, you will need a saucepan, you will need a pot, you will need a bowl or plate to smash, you will need a cooking spoon and a plate to serve. So what is the first thing you do? The first thing you do when you are preparing this recipe is to wash. Wash your fruit properly with salt and water. I often wash my fruit with salt and water. I think that's the best thing to do. Then afterward, you cut it into two slices. Yeah, let me talk about washing of seed, of fruits, of vegetables. Don't use soap, please. Why should you use soap? The vegetables could absorb particles from this soap that are harmful to you. Okay, now set aside the distraction after cutting it into two sizes you cut into the further cut into smaller sizes now this is one over four of the fruits and i'm taking it down again into smaller wedges this is to allow easy cooking okay now when i arrange this in my pot it won't take long it won't take as long to cook as it would if i put the whole big chunk in my pot or just this big chunk in my pot so Cut little smaller wedges and set in a pot with the sides down. Okay, just wash me. After setting it in your pot, you add some water. You add some water and make sure that the water is up to the level of the fruit. Yes, it should be at the same level with the level of the fruit inside the pot. Then you add salt. To enhance the taste of these fruits I'm going to add my salt now Then I'm going to set it to cook for 35 minutes. Okay, I'm going to cook on medium to high heat for 35 minutes. Afterward, I will drain the water off so that I can handle the fruits properly. Then take them out one after the other, scoop out the innards and seeds, and remove the skin, which could give it a bitter taste. The skin is actually edible, but I don't want it because of the bitter taste. So I'm going to remove the skin also, that green thing you see there. Yeah, I'm going to remove it. Just watch. Now, you know what? After removing this, I'm going to mash the fruits. So get your plate ready and your spoon or a bowl and the ladu for easier mashing because once you are done with the peeling and the removal of innards, you put everything together in your bowl or a plate and then mash. Okay, but I'm still removing so just wash. But you can set that aside also. You can get that ready. You can see I'm removing, I'm removing the skin even while the fruit is hot. Yeah, you have to be strong because <laughs> it's going to burn your hand. <laughs> but don't worry, just allow it to cool down a little before you do it. Okay, I did that for all the fruit. There were about 8 wedges of them. 
so you can see it's in the plate now I'm going to mash so after mashing you get your pepper and the onion just about three or four habanero would do for one over four of this because I only used like I only used one over four of the old stuff so I didn't use everything no I didn't use everything so just get enough pepper and onion that you think would suffice for what you can see in, the, in your plate don't use my own plate though eh? mm -hmm. whatever amount of pepper and salt you would like to use just use it then get your palm oil ready palm oil please palm oil palm oil brings out the orange color which is what i really like okay now you fry the pepper with your salt and seasoning and after frying the pepper you pour in the kabocha squash that has been mashed for me i used just one over four of the whole thing storing the rest in the refrigerator so you pour the kabocha squash and stir properly until you get an even orange color once that has been gotten you can enjoy your kabocha squash anyhow you want it i really love this recipe you can read up the detailed post on my website at foodidem.com and you should subscribe to this channel for more interesting food recipes.